So what's the difference between a three-channel uh, coaxial helicopter, or kind of what's usually called a toy-grade coaxial helicopter, and a four-channel hobby-grade coaxial helicopter? Uh, let's cover each of the channels, and then it'll make it clear as to what the difference is. First channel is throttle, and that is a pretty simple concept to understand. That is simply how fast the motors are spinning, and that moves the helicopter either up or down. And so that works the same on either the three-channel or the four-channel helicopter. The second channel that's the same between the two helicopters is what's called yaw. So on either helicopter, what's happening is we have two counter-rotating propellers that are spinning against one another. When one of those propellers slows down or speeds up, um, it will point the helicopter's nose in either a left or a right direction. So you can kind of think of this as the helicopter's ability to turn right or left, uh, like I said, though it's more accurately described as yaw, and it is just the helicopter's ability to turn around the center axis uh, or the drive shaft of the propellers and point itself either right or left. Okay, the third channel we're going to talk about is pitch, and conceptually pitch is very simple. You can think of it as the helicopter's ability to move forward or backward. What's really important about pitch, though, is that it's implemented differently in a three-channel than it is in a four-channel, and that's really what gives rise to the fourth channel. So first off, let's talk about how a three-channel works, then we'll cover a four-channel, and it'll be easy to understand uh, why that fourth channel works the way it does. Okay, so pitch in a three-channel helicopter. In a three-channel helicopter, the blades are fixed. So in other words, they are spinning on the same rotational axis the entire time. However, there's a motor in the back with a propeller that spins either direction. And what it does, it'll lift the end up, point the nose down so that the helicopter pulls itself forward. Or vice versa, it'll push the rear end down, lift the nose up, and the helicopter moves in reverse. Uh, you'll see that this is a little different than what happens in a four-channel helicopter, which uses a swash plate. Okay, so pitch in a four-channel coaxial helicopter. First off, you'll see that there is no motor in the rear, so there's no ability to lift uh, the tail up or down or point the nose. So what's going on is there's a swash plate underneath there, which you can see on there. On either side of the canopy, there's the attachment point. And what that does is that has the ability to tilt the lower rotor uh, forward or backward and instantly side to side, which is the fourth channel. The upper rotor in this case is always on a constant plane or it attempts to be on a constant plane by spinning with this stabilizer bar. So you see the third channel is when the attachment point, the little servo in there pushes the attachment point either up or down so that the rotor will turn itself and pull the helicopter forward and reverse. And then the other attachment point is what gives rise to the fourth channel which is the ability of the uh, helicopter to kind of slide side to side, which is called roll. So you can think of that as uh, my son calls it tilt. Like I said, I think the uh, proper terminology is roll, uh, or you can think of it as, like I said, like sliding from side to side. So that's the thing that a three-channel helicopter can't do.